Hey Mori, thanks for uh, coming by. I had a question for you. What is the difference between a analog transmission and a digital transmission that's on the Evolve 2? Yeah, sure. So uh, an analog transmission is all ranges uh, from the transmission all the time. You're receiving everything. Whereas a digital transmission is the ones and zeros or it's, it's specific parts of that information. So the benefits of a digital transmission is the picture quality is going to be way better. Uh, the downside is that, and you'll see this manifest itself in FPV uh, because that's where you see analog transmission usually. And that is as you fly away, the picture will get fuzzier and fuzzier and fuzzier, and you'll see it slowly degrade over time as you move away. With digital, you'll have a really clear picture up until when it starts to fail and you reach the limits of the transmission signal and it'll 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 go down quick. It'll start to pixelize and, and everything. So you'll see it coming with the analog. With the digital, that may be a downside is that you don't see it coming. It kind of is more abrupt. But for filmmaking, for the uses we have for the drone, uh, for the Evolve 2, I mean, digital is the way to go. The picture quality is amazing. Um, yeah. Theoretically, analog should have a faster latency, but digital is closely behind and it starts to get negligible in terms of which one is better. So yeah, everything is moving digital in that way. Yeah. It, the last thing I would say about analog is that it's, it's open source. Uh, it's an open framework, so it's not proprietary. Anyone can use it. And I think that's why it's used also with FPV a lot. Um, with digital, it's proprietary. I see. Very cool. Well, I appreciate the more. That was uh, real helpful information from my end. So I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you later, man. All right. See ya. See ya.